Hi, my name is Jennifer Harding and I am an endotherm keeper here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. I am the primary keeper over the porcupines uh, and you guys will be able to meet the porcupines today and uh, hopefully get to know some cool facts about them. So we have two prehensile tail porcupines that live here at the aquarium. Their names are Darwin and Ilsa. So when we first bought Darwin and Ilsa, um, we were told that we had a male-female pair, Darwin the male, Ilsa the female. And then through watching trail cameras, we saw that they weren't showing any signs of breeding behavior that you would normally see between a male-female pair. And that led us to believe uh, that maybe we weren't dealing with a male-female pair. Uh, porcupines don't actually have external genitalia, so you can't just look at them and decide oh, that's a boy, that's a girl. So what we actually had to do was send quill samples off to be DNA tested. Uh, and they came back that Darwin was actually a girl and Ilsa is a girl. So we have two females. Prehensile tail porcupines are often found in South America. Um, they're also known as the Brazilian porcupine because they are found in a large portion of Brazil. Prehensile tail porcupines are arboreal, which means that they live in the trees. So when you come to visit us at the aquarium, make sure you guys look up into the trees. You can be able to find them usually either uh, hanging out in one of those little curved branches or in their nest boxes sleeping. Because prehensile tail porcupines do live up in the trees, they have some really cool adaptations to help them make sure that they stay in the trees. Uh, number one is they have nice kind of sharp claws uh, that allows them to grip as they go up and down the trees. They also have a prehensile tail, like in the name, um, and prehensile tail basically means that it is just an extra appendage. They can use that tail to wrap around tree branches and uh, stumps, and it allows them to actually kind of hang uh, to be able to reach what they need to reach. Usually they're reaching for some sort of good type of fruit. Another cool adaptation that porcupines have are their quills. Now their quills are actually modified hair. So just like we have hair that sheds, porcupines will shed their quills. One of the misconceptions though, is that porcupines will shoot their quills when they feel like they're in danger. This is not true. They can actually raise their quills. And if you get too close and touch one, they actually have little barbs at the tip and that will get stuck in your fingers, in your arms. And that's the dangerous part about porcupines. If you visit us early in the morning, you may be able to see us training the porcupines. We train our porcupines for a number of reasons. The first is husbandry care. And husbandry care is really important to us because it makes sure that we can take care of our animals. Our training sessions are actually voluntary, which is really cool. It means that the porcupines have a choice whether or not they wanna come down and train with us. We train our porcupines for husbandry behaviors to make sure that they're happy and healthy. They participate in their own healthcare. One of the fun things we do with all of our animals at the aquarium, including the porcupines, is we actually give them enrichment. Enrichment is physically and mentally stimulating for them. They can do all sorts of things that count as enrichment. A lot of it is actually geared towards helping them demonstrate natural behaviors. And we like to see that natural behavior. Uh, the porcupines especially really like to forage. Uh, we love to give them boxes full of food that they have to, during the night when they're up, they'll open it up and they'll look inside and they'll find some really nice treats. Uh, a lot of times the enrichments we give are mentally stimulating and so it allows them to be able to kind of work through problems. We can give them environmental enrichment, which can include anything like mulch or pine shavings. We can give them what we call sensory enrichment where we give them different types of smells. If you've noticed, the porcupines have quite big noses uh, and that actually is really quite fun for them to smell. One of my favorite things working with the porcupines is how different their personalities are. Darwin is quiet and shy, a little cautious, but very sweet. And Ilsa's very bold. She loves to go out and explore. She loves to kind of touch things. And she always likes to see what the keepers are doing. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you got the point and see why porcupines are so incredible.